Chapter 8, Conversation in Interpersonal Communication. When you think about it, relationships begin with a conversation and the channel can be one of many. So what qualities make a conversation most satisfying to you? Think of a time in the past when you've had a conversation that you really felt good about. What qualities were good about that conversation? Let's look at these five principles of conversation. First principle is that conversation is a developmental process. There's always an opening, there's feed forward, there's the business of the conversation, there's feedback, and there's the closing. And this is true whether it's a very short conversation between people or a longer one. The opening could be anything. It could be verbal, nonverbal, it could be a greeting, it could be a question. An opening line can accomplish a lot. Determining if the other person is ready to converse or just a greeting. The feed forward in a conversation basically gives a preview of the topic. Bob is getting transferred. Or it can set the mood. I'm upset, can we talk? Or I'm happy about this. Basically letting them know you wanna talk about it. You can also preface the conversation with a disclaimer. We won't put a lot of emphasis on that, but a disclaimer is something like, I don't wanna ruin your fun, but we need to start class. There are some suggestions on using feed forward because remember this is preparation kind of a kind of putting a a feeler out there if the other person wants to talk or what they want to talk about or or suggesting a topic of conversation it's it's to check the receptivity to your message to set the mood for the main message The business of the conversation is basically the goal of the conversation. It's the longest part generally. Whether it's a social conversation or a business conversation, it's an, ex an exchange of roles, speaker and listener roles. The feedback reflects back on the business. It's a prelude to closing. You may need to revisit the actual topic of the conversation so the feedback is after you're done talking about your topic and you're kind of summing it up. The closing can be both verbal and nonverbal. In the email, it might be the signature, some ideas for closing. You might ask for closure. So did that answer your question? Or you might refer to a future interaction. Hey, let's get together next week. Or you might close directly. Well, it's been nice talking to you. Bye. Another principle of conversation is the principle of cooperation. A third principle of conversation is that it's a dialogue. And by a dialogue, we mean that there are two people involved and there's some expectation of respect between the participants to take turns being both sender and receiver, acknowledging the other person, maintaining positive criticism. And um, basically this refers to a, a basic honesty between the people involved. So the fact that conversation is dialogic means that it is two-way communication. Have you ever been in a situation 
You think you're going to have a conversation, but the other person is doing all the talking. That's not a true conversation. <laughs> Another principle we can recognize is the process of turn taking. There are speaker cues and listener cues that we use. There's back channeling that we use. Remember what back channeling is? These are the responses that you give while the, the speaker is still sending the message. They're an acknowledgement and also serve as encouragement for the speaker to keep sending more of the message. Can you remember some elements of back channeling? The principle of politeness. Why is politeness important? And, and in a conversation, can you think of some, some actions that would express being polite during a conversation?